Hey folks, welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. The Adam Friedland Show regular podcast. The Adam Friedland Show regular podcast, not to be confused with the Adam Friedland Show premium podcast, which you can get. I didn't have my mic on. Am I good? Which the Adam he, Friedland Show regular podcast. I said Adam it in Fre- a cool way. Yeah, I just yeah, want to make sure you got picked up. Oh, I think, Check uh, this out. I can put this on my hair now. Oh my God. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You should do that for girls. I kind of want my, my dream has always been to like be like seven feet tall, uh-huh. and I have like an earring that's also like an earpiece, like an ear like security earpiece, but then it's also an earring, and then it goes to my nipple, which uh-huh. is exposed, and I'm a bouncer, and I stand outside of a club, and I have mascara on, uh-huh. and I'm like, one second, are we letting any more people in? Mm-hmm. You should I'm get like, that leg y'all extension can't, surgery. Y'all can't, y'all can't come in right now. <laughs> Y'all need to be about your piece. Well, I, you should get it, but... Get you're, the, I'm sorry, you're not on the list. You should just get the longest one they've ever done. You should just, like, look like you you have stilts on or yeah. something. Guys, I want to mention... I'm not, because, I'm not, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do the leg-breaking surgery, but what I would do, because I already have a pretty long reach. Uh-huh. You know, already, you know what it's called? It's called an ape index. Yeah. It's ape your wind, wingspan versus your height. Yeah. You I should have a pretty long climb, reach. But you have a good one. I have a pretty long reach, so I, I'm just going to get my arms broken and extended even longer, so I can just walk around on my hands and have my legs. I'm going to get my leg. I'm going to have my leg bones removed and added to my arms. There are fitness guys on Instagram that have like do uh, like Planet of the Apes, like running, like they like run across fields like this, like uh, in a gallop, uh, for fitness. And uh, apparently, you're, it's good for you to run around like that. Apparently, like getting really good at galloping is good. Guys, I want to mention uh, next weekend. I haven't, I haven't really promoted this enough. Tampa, Florida, the 19th and 20th at Side Splitters Comedy. I'll be there. I think I'm bringing Caleb Pitts, and I think the audience has spoken out. I, I threw it to you on the Patreon episode, which was fucking. It was a really good one this week. Um, probably one of, the, probably the best ep- podcast ever. Um, I threw it to the audience. I said, "Do you want to see Scumbag Vinny uh, uh, on that show?" Overwhelmingly, the audience has said yes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get Vinny there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my ho- my wallet in the hotel safe probably. But uh, we're gonna see. It's gonna be a fucking a big weekend. So uh, get your tickets the 19th and 20th in Tampa, Florida at Side Splitters. And Nick is in Columbus, Ohio next. I'll do month. my own plug when I feel like it. Thank you. I'll plug. I'll plug. My you think day. that was a nice thing that I was I'll doing. plug him on when I choose to in the episode. You cut me off. I was in the middle of explaining what I would want to do to my body with surgery. Um, well, I say that there are guys that do. Yeah, the... no, you just changed. That's about something else. Now you're talking about Instagram videos. I'm anyway, I mean, Ginsburg, I, what are the I apologize. Slot, what are the slot numbers today? Uh, just one. Just number slot number one. Okay. No, I mean I apologize, especially based on the fact that you know you're very you've ne- you're you're such a good listener. You've biting, never cut me off. Biting, passive you've never aggress- cut me off. Pa- passive aggressive comments. Well, I mean I think it's so absurd. Here's that- my question. Yeah. So you can just the South South Africa can just be like, look, we're taking you to the International Court of Justice. They uh-huh. can just do that to Israel. Uh huh. And. The State Department is saying this is baseless, that it doesn't have justification. Is the process one in which it doesn't matter? Even if even if Israel was doing nothing at all, a country like South Africa could just be like, Israel's bad, we're going to court, and then Israel would have to show up and defend them. Mm-hmm. How can I do that to you? How can I? How can we get you? How can I? Can I bring a case to the to the Internet, ICC to the ICC? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna say that Adam is. Passive aggressive, a liar. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's got to break some kind of law. I think it's like um, war crimes, typically, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But I would get Alan Dershowitz. Sex trafficking. You've done that. I would get Alan Dershowitz. You have done sex trafficking. I would get Alan Dershowitz to defend me. Oh, okay. If you're able to pull this off, mm-hmm. I will get Professor Dershowitz. Yeah. And I'm, and that's a promise to you. Well, we covered it on the the the, the premium podcast this week, available at Patreon.com. The tunnels. The tunnels, mm-hmm. which I saw some big Twitter thread that the guy was like, that explain. I had the explanation, mm-hmm. but the first tweet in the thread is like, uh, first you have to understand the background of the the Chabad movement 
or whatever mm-hmm. it's called. Yeah. Is, uh, is it was all founded by this one guy. Yeah, uh, Menachem Schneerson. Uh, yeah, Schneer. No, no, no. Even further back. Well, yeah, there was a yeshiva in Lubav. As, yeah, the Lubav guy. Yeah, yeah. And then the guy in the thread says, and like this guy was one of the most fascinating people of all time, like truly like a revolutionary thought leader. And I was Probably. like, well, then I said, okay, well, obviously this guy's lying. Then if that's the thread man. Yeah, the thre- I'm not going to read the rest of this thread if it starts off with. The guy that came a compliment up, for one Jew. Well, that you've never that, met, you've never heard came, of. A guy that one came, Jewish guy getting a compliment. So you're defending it. I'm just saying you're that, saying it's good. You're saying that discredits a thread by hearing that someone says one guy was smart. A cult, cult leader, yeah. Who happens to be Jewish? A cult leader, yeah. I wouldn't say cult leader. If a thread started off saying like, "Look, L. Ron Hubbard might be one of the greatest geniuses of all time," and a like a phil, then I'd be like, "Okay, well then this is discredited." As far as I'm concerned. I think that you're looking at people living in the 1700s and applying a modern lens to it. They lived in, like, a shtetl. They're not running a fucking Jonestown cult. To me, it is a Jonestown cult. All right, fine. Go ahead. Maybe. So, okay, so you didn't read the rest of the thread, or you did? I did not read the rest of the thread. So, so, but you said that it, it solves the mystery, then. It does not solve the mystery. It's some, supposed to be some kind of explanation, but we still don't have... There's still not an answer as to what the tunnels were for. Maybe you felt like you were getting too close to a logical explanation and you wanted to live in a fantastical world where anything was possible in those tunnels, right? It makes it less fun. If it the... seems like you're very much on the side of the cover up here, and I don't really understand why. That's not your, you don't go mm. to these places. I think, it's, I think it's a tribalistic, you know, I feel like, um, you know, I have to defend hardworking Jews. You know, I live in Brooklyn. These are my neighbors. These are my my comrades. My... Is there any, wait, is we, is there any called him Chabad the Builder? Is that's that pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think five-ish, uh, I'm 90% sure five-ish is from Chabad. I'm 90% on that. that the, it, I've multiple times I've been like, what the hell is the deal with these guys? Uh-huh. And then I've had people try to explain to me the nuances of the different types of uh, cartoon characters. Well, just look at the outfits. I don't care. Uh-huh. I don't like. I don't care to understand the diff- whatever minor. Well, it's diff- a pretty simple explanation. Don't they care. just wear different outfits. I don't care. They wear the same outfits to me. They all look the same to me. No, they don't. There's I'm, one with I'm, Ottomans. I'm, there's one Blues I'm, Brothers. I'm this There's close, one with a they Knickerbockers. Are, they, they are. I'm all. I'm this close to pushing the differences between them and the Amish out of my head. Mm-hmm. We're the, we're on this. We're this close to being like. The, and now they're all, now all of these guys are the same. You're saying that the Amish included. And if it weren't for the. Uh, what about me? You it, think that I'm this? Uh, no, I don't. You're not wearing dumb clothes. Mm-hmm. You're a different kind. I can understand what that. What if underneath? Huh? What if underneath I was wearing it? What do you mean? Like I'm Superman. Like I'm, I have the... But you're not Superman. I know I'm not Superman. I watched Man of Steel on the plane. Mad good. Really good. I missed out on that one. Was that from like 2009? Yeah, Zack Snyder. Didn't, wasn't that a giant bomb? Huge bomb. Yeah. I watched it on the plane coming back from L.A., Also, his body, dude. We got to get that body. I need that body Mm -hmm. for myself, not for... What's his name? Cahill? Let's get back to these tunnels. Because I feel like you were about to cook. Huh? I feel like we were about to cook on the tunnels. No, you kept... Anything I said, you were like just disagreeing with me. So. It's not disagreeing. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a repartee. It's it's a witty. It's a tete a tete. Uh, sorry, Ginsburg is telling me something. What's he saying? Uh, He's talking shit on me. Anyway. Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. You can tet your own goddamn tet. What do you mean? Our whole thing is a tete tete No, it's not. I'm, yes, saying it is. Some, I'm saying something, and you interrupt me, and then eventually it's at a point where I'm like, oh. No, you finished a sentence. You said that this man was being praised, and therefore it devalidated this thread, which supposedly explains the tunnel. Mm-hmm. And I said, mm-hmm. why did was that the thing that devalidated it? It was a question. No, it was. we can run the tape. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's move on to something else. No, why, why, why not? What do you think the tunnels are for? 
Me? Yeah. Um, I mean, in reality? Yeah, that sounds funny. Like a real estate scam, probably. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, let's hear. They let's, probably didn't have on rights. On a comedy podcast, let's hear the real reason. The time, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Um, and people in this day and age want to jump to these fantastical conclusions of, of uh, you know, child sex trafficking, pizza, restaurant. You know, we, we, we go to these default modes. But in reality, they were probably, um, you know, you know, it could have been a good thing, you know. Like they, what? I don't know. Maybe like a just a place to chill, you know, away and from do, your wife. And do what? Just a man cave kind of situation, you know. Uh-huh. Your wife is just like some lady. She's got eight, 87 different kids. You and your boys all wear the same outfits, you know. There's no uh-huh. cell phone service. You're in the middle, you know, underground. They could just vibe out with their boys. Kind of a player's ball, a pimps and players kind of situation, underground. The city doesn't know about it. Why in the fucking 1930s were they doing that? And everyone says, oh, those guys are cool for, for doing illegal speakeasies. But when when these guys are doing it, we're saying that they're uh, uh, sex trafficking oh, so they uh, got Jewish. Like, they got illegal bar, illegal really run just they bars vibe, down just, there. Yeah, just like a... a Kind of, yeah, man cave situation. Yeah, dueling pianos and stuff. Yeah, you know, put, put the game on, put the mm-hmm. war on, you know, mm-hmm. vibe out with their boys. Yeah. You know? Not I just see a bunch of people on Twitter saying, like, can you imagine if, like, Muslims were doing this in a mosque, mm. what the reaction would be? What would that be? I would imagine it would be pretty similar. Yeah. Is, are you fucking children in those tunnels? <laughs> I think my reaction personally would be the uh-huh. same. Uh-huh. Here's, a, here's an idea. If just don't don't dig a tunnel, you know, just don't dig. Just don't do that. Yeah. There's no reason for it. It would be kind of fun. What? Like if we were doing it, mm-hmm. and it was our little secret, mm-hmm. and the city didn't know about it. There's a secular way to dig a tunnel. Like if you have a militia mm-hmm. or something, that makes sense. Because mm-hmm. you need it to to yeah. get around. Or if it is, I mean, I guess the real estate thing. That's the one thing that's been crazy about this war is, like, with all the fucking money and, like, <clears throat> tech they give Israel, it's like, you know, people are like, oh, you don't understand these, this tunnel network in Gaza. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, but it's still just shit underground. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know enough about engineering to know what kind of hole you can dig that you can't just put water in it and it fills up. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, my understanding is that the tunnels that just span, like, Jersey to Manhattan are, like, engineering feats mm-hmm. to keep the ventilation going. Mm-hmm. But, like, you can bomb those fucking things, and these guys are still popping out of holes and killing people. Um, it's like, well, I guess, like, yeah, you could have your own tunnel system in America. Like, if I, if I bought... A 500 square foot loft. I just bought a shitty house, mm-hmm. like a tiny shitty house. Could I just fucking make a mansion underground that nobody knows about? It'd be cool. And if the police are like, uh, "Hey, stop doing that," I'm like, "No," and I just close the top. And then what are they gonna do? Bomb me? They can't. I'm in a tunnel. Right. They can't yeah. shoot me. They just have to wait until I decide to come out. Yeah, and they don't know how long. Well, because everyone goes compound. Everyone always thinks like, you know, like... Militia. Militia guys are yeah. always like, we're going to go out in the woods. Canned food, And then you just get shot water. from a helicopter. Right. Or you could take over the post office. Yeah. If they had a tunnel, like imagine if the Waco guy had a tunnel or Ruby Ridge or... Who's the guy, who's the post office guy? Eamon Bundy? That was the uh, Oregon guy. Right? Yeah, he took over a post office. I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that during Obama? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that guy's like on the news now. Is he? He's well, like he, a pundit on Fox? Well, he said that he had some, like, I remember seeing him like recently and he he has some kind of like lib take that pissed people off. He what was, was like, it? Hillary Clinton's awesome. You know, I don't know, like he said, or he said like Trump was bad or something and people were like, fuck you, they should have, cops should have shot you. Apparently Richard Spencer did that too. Yeah. He said... Biden's the best president ever or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. 
I always confuse Richard Spencer and um, Richard Simmons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You so, remember when that was like a big diss in elementary school? What you need Richard saying Simmons? someone was like Richard Simmons? Saying someone was like Richard Simmons? Yeah, or like saying oh, they yeah. needed Richard Simmons. Oh, that was another one too. You're so yeah. fat, you need Richard Simmons. Yeah. yeah. He was kind of an introduction into queer culture for our generation, I think. Okay, Ginsburg, right. you're late now with the... Ginsburg! What is this? Jeffrey. Okay. So it's the beginning of a new year. We want to grow our business, right? Mm -hmm. we, uh, and there are plenty of tedious tasks. We talk about this a lot on the show. Um, that would be, uh, it would be better for us if we automated them, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah um, so, uh, so, so this year, if you're stuck in the trenches on daily tasks like managing order fulfillment, uh, you're, and you're not able to focus on what really matters, uh, which is increasing sales, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what you should do is you should sign up for ShipStation, which can help you increase your profitability by automating your workflow and keeping costs down with industry-leading discounts. No matter what you sell or how you ship, your business can grow with Shipped Station. That's kind of cool too. It sounds e like e-commerce is only going to get bigger and bigger, folks. I think it, that's a that's a safe bet. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably more people are going to be buying shit online, and uh, I say there's going to be a process of. Uh, well, I think ShipStation incorporates with Etsy anyway, so you don't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether, you know, you run your own. Shopify store, you have an Etsy shop. If you're doing anything where you need to ship stuff, which you should, honestly, it's it's very easy to start a side business. There's like very little overhead. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, a lot of people, rich people, they make money, and then they start, you know, they they they're like, oh, I'm gonna have a business, a side hustle, and then they get like a McDonald's franchise, and that costs like two million dollars. Mm -hmm. Regular people can't do that, but right. you can always sell buttons. Mm -hmm. or fucking trinkets you can learn how to make trinkets and sell them and even if nobody buys the fucking shit there's no overhead you know you right. find a thing to make and uh and it's fun and then yeah. you can then you'll know you'll know i, I don't i'm not cut out for this world mm -hmm. if you fail at it if i can't if i can't get a single person to buy my trinkets then it's like it's either me or capitalism mm -hmm. that's wrong but even if we lived in communism, I'd, 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 I'd say I'd go to, to the Generalissimo mm -hmm. and he'd say, like, oh, your, your job is going to be to... Trinket. Well, no, he wouldn't say that. You would just follow along here. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm slow today. You'd say, oh, well, I can make these trinkets. And they'd say, yeah, sorry, we don't need fucking trinkets. Yeah, it doesn't sound very communist. Mm -hmm. Trinkets. Yeah. You're going to work in the factory... Uh -huh. and you're like, but I literally can't do that. That's why, like, all I thought the only thing I could do was trinkets. So um, they probably just they'd they'd feed you the dogs, I guess, mm -hmm. is what would happen. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess all that is to say, you might as but it's not. You should always take a chance, mm -hmm. and so you should. Start, you got to put yourself out there. You should start an in online. Business. Yeah. You should start an online business, and when you do, you'll quickly find. That the only way to ship anything is with ShipStation. Mm -hmm. Using the integrated shipping stuff or doing it yourself sucks. You can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one simple dashboard. It is They make everything so foolproof. Even a clown could use it. Even a fool, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, guys, it's effortless integration. You manage orders, print labels, compare rates. Everything is is done basically Ship for you. Station is the gold standard. That's what they and because they do so much business, they have discount rates with USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post with discounts of up to eighty nine percent off USPS and UPS. That's freaking friggin' huge. You know, that's that's awesome, right? How do they even negotiate that with the government? U USPS could be like, we like you. That doesn't sound fair. Yeah, it's discounts. It's uh. Yeah, that's how everything works. Really? Yeah, you buy in bulk, you get a deal. Wow. So over 130,000 uh, companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation, and 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Mm -hmm. that, that sounds fucking awesome. So guys, this is what you have to do. Use promo code TAFS today 
at ShipStation.com and sign up for free for a 30-day trial. That's free. That's a free month. No money. That's ShipStation.com, promo code TAFS, and you can sell your freaking trinkets and, and get and pull yourself out of freaking poverty. Right? Why do you keep saying freaking? No, we have a Mormon audience. So. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, have yeah, drugs so. gotten more expensive? Like weed and cocaine yeah, and stuff? right. No, I think it's pretty much like still 60 for an eighth. Yeah, how is that that it's that's not subject to inflation? Huh. I guess it's its own self-contained market, I suppose. No, it's got to be transported. It's right. You got to bring it to the United States. You would think that that would affect prices at some point. But how are they? Tra they're transporting it on like, you know, like little dinghies, no, rubber dinghies, weed. Maybe weed's all no, grown domestically now. That's but. domestic and it's legal now. Yeah, but cocaine. No, that comes over in fucking shipping containers. Shipping containers. There's no way the amount of cocaine in the United States is being brought here in, like, someone's ass. Mm. It just doesn't make any sense. It has to be, yeah, like, massive. It's coming through on boats. It's just, There's got to be, like, the ports are compromised. Mm -hmm. But that shit's more expensive. Shipping costs, especially now with this thing going on in the Red Sea, like, the, the, the prices have gone up, but you never see it reflected in drugs. Oh, because the Suez Canal is cut off. Yeah. Or it affects the, yeah. The Suez Canal is fucking sick, dude. Yeah. They used to have to go around Africa. Well, they do again. That sucks. They do again. That's dude. so far. Because of the, the Yemeni guys. You know what I love about them? Yeah. Is like all of them have uh, like the lens crafters, like the the first pair of glasses you get. Kind of like the, the $10 option at lens crafters glasses. I haven't seen. I aren't they? They have it. They have that. Don't disagree with ski me. Ski masks, typically. No. They have the Yemeni guys have the fucking glasses. So don't not don't do that. Let's not do another thing where you go. No, that's not true. I didn't say that's not true. I just you said, said I no. Hadn't they wear ski masks. Mask. They very clearly do not wear ski. masks. The mask. videos are sick of them going on the boats with like the. Delta Look Force up the guns. guy that talks. Whatever his name is, he has the glasses. Oh, he's just doing like a streaming kind of thing. He's like in an office. He's a spokesperson, I guess. Yeah, yeah. For the Houthis, uh -huh. he's like a Hassan kind of. He might be Houthi. I guess that's some guy's name. Houthi? There's a guy named Houthi that was mm -hmm. one of. I, uh, I only want to be with you. Yeah. Yeah, Houthi and the Blowfish. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, they, uh, huh? That's pretty funny. I only want to be with Darius Rucker, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm not one of your guests. I don't know what I'm very well with you. I'm not one of your guests on this show that you're doing bits at. And there's also no camera operators here for you to kind of say the joke to and then uh, and then ha, 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 laugh, d laugh in their direction. I'm trying to stop doing that. When you bomb towards one of the... When the guest gives you nothing and then you... Uh, uh, you kind of just deflate in the direction of... I'm not one of them. You don't have to be. I was supposed to be on board with your Houthi and the Blowfish after I started I, everything I say. No. I just said, why, did, why? I was giving it back to you. You said that someone praised a rabbi from the 1700s. I said, I said that's why. And you immediately started growing me. But I, I was never just doing my... Now we've moved on. No, I, 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 that's I already, not a no. I already, I already moved on. I, I asked you why. I already moved on. I, I asked you why. It was so moved on. difficult for you to see, yeah, see a this, compliment to one guy from 1700. And the glasses thing? And the glasses thing explained that? I said, I've only seen them in ski masks. You know goddamn well who I'm talking about. And you know what, you know what I'm talking about. And now you're fucking, you're pretending like I'm talking about something else. No. Just to undermine my observation. No. I'm, I don't, I, you know way more about this stuff. I'm not, I don't know anything about it. No, you're on. There's a video that's. They're on the a, internet all day. Oh, now, now it's going to be, oh, no. I you're don't really know. well versed. I'm, I'm just ignorant. I don't, I thought they wore ski masks. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know you're, the guy with this glasses and you're doing anything you can to just poke holes. I don't know what Nick, you're on you today. Know, you are an expert in Jewish crimes, mm -mm. and you you spend a lot of your day reading no. about various this is because various the, Jewish crimes because, around the world. It's because of the ICJ thing going on. I think that's it. A lot. Of, what is that's ICJ? The International Court of, of Criminal Justice, whatever mm -hmm. this thing South Africa did. Mm -hmm. I'm South African. 
Yeah. Do you so, feel so, so? So so this is probably a big. So this say there's a there's a this is a big conflict for so you. So say internal, thank you a lot. Thank, internal conflict for you. I'm not from Israel. Huh? I'm but not you from lived Israel. There. You went I'm there. from Santa Monica, California, but yeah, but you went. You lived there. I lived in South Africa and too. And you did sex trafficking while you were there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They called me um, the Jeffrey Epstein for grown ass uh -huh. women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. You shut your fucking hole. Yeah, there you go. Sex trafficking. Nick, you just know a lot about what the Jews I are watched, up to. You I keep you keep First tabs of all, I'm on talking it. about Yemenis. I don't know. I saw the, the video. You know that this conflict with... is is related to uh, a, a regional conflict. I obviously don't know because I started off to saying mm. I don't understand. I'm sorry, I didn't know about I the glasses. I don't understand what this. I don't understand who this guy is. I read an explanation of the tunnels that was giving way too much information on like the religious background. When ultimately the point is, it doesn't matter. There's no. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter the religious. All, you can if you can't tell me in one sentence why you're digging secret tunnels and fighting with the police when they try and fill them in, mm -hmm. then it's like you're lot you're you have to be lying to me. Who Hamas? Anybody. Hamas. If Hamas says we're digging tunnels so that we can commit, that we can fucking hide our weapons, that makes sense. They are saying that. Mm -hmm. They're straightforward. It's not like they've discovered secret Hamas tunnels and they're like, listen, you don't understand what these are for. It's actually, so you got to start 200 years ago, right? And if somebody, if I had a, a secret tunnel and I was like, okay, I know, look, there's just, hey, first of all, yes, there's a stroller and a body mattress in there. But first, so, okay. So, hold on. You know when it's like everything was steam-powered? Mm -hmm. So, basically, back then, mm -hmm. uh, there was um, a guy who... It's like, it's literally the, the like, ah, oh, damn, ah, oh, fucking ham. Uh, See, what ha happened. Salmon. Yeah, no, that's what, that's <laughs> what, ha what that's, was. That's what the threat is. Mm -hmm. So, that's how I... That's, so, what did they find in there? A, a bloody mattress. They found a bloody... Ch ch they, I've read the words child size. I don't know if that just means a twin mattress. It was a twin mattress, I would say. Yeah, but they also make children's mattresses, so I don't know if it was... Uh, uh -huh. you know so it was in a race car? Um, what's that? Like a race car bed? No, I think it was just on the ground. It would be very weird to have a child sex slave that you gave a race car bed to. Well, in terms of being a child sex I think, slave, I, I think it's I, one of the I best think, options. I think you keep them in a kennel. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think they get a race car bed. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, it's it, it's for me. I'm I'm a I'm an avowed centrist. I, it's a wait and see, you know. Uh -huh. And I'm sure that there's a perfectly logical. But see, so you can't wait and see because it starts off with seeing. Mm -hmm. So it's a see and wait. So thing. how about this? We live ten minutes away from there. You and I just go check it out for ourselves. Yeah, I can go in disguise. As one of those guys. Well, we should get a pair of nunchucks first, because those guys, what do they carry on? They carry, like, throwing stars on them or nunchucks? Those guys? Yeah. No, I think that's uh, Chinese people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, those guys, I mean, I'll just get a Blues Brothers suit, get the hat. I'll go in, say, hey, guys, I'm one of the boys. What's the deal? What, are, what were we thinking mm -hmm. with this? And then yeah. I'll, I'll break the story. It's called citizen journalism. What if this is just like a viral marketing campaign for John Wick Five? It might be. Yeah. It might. He's a guy that dug stuff. Well, yeah. Well, it's just you know, it's, like the movie starts off. The, well, there is a scene in John Wick like two, I think, where he goes to like some Hasidic, like bank. Yeah. And they're like, oh, good, uh, good luck, Mister Wick. Mm -hmm. You know, he does meet them. So maybe it has something to do with the John Wick movies. I started. Um, Related to that, I started a Harry Potter game, uh -huh. and uh, for girls, by the way, it's, it's, it's for adults actually. The Harry Potter guy. game you buy for your girlfriend, so that she I'm can playing it with my she girlfriend. She can also like the PlayStation, and then she plays it for five minutes, and you're like, "See, you like video games," and then you play Call of Duty for 15 hours straight, mm -hmm. and she can't get mad because, well, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure I saw your dumb ass playing video games also. So mm -hmm. yeah, you're yeah. You need to. Fuck you can't off. tell me to stop. While we spend different amounts of time playing games, but it's because I'm better than you. I'm playing it with her, and it is infuriating when she has the when she has the when she has the sticks. Why? Because I just want to play. Oh really? Yeah, I feel like one of those kids who invites someone over to your house to play a one player game, and then I'm just like, just give it to me, just let me play. She's like girly playing the game. She's doing it in a girl manner. 
She like wants to go to the to try on different outfits. So and you're stuff. controlling and abusive in relationships. Is what you're saying? It's a little bit of a stretch, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> so you're, I'm what explaining you're, play, uh, spending time with my girlfriend, quality time with my girlfriend. What you're saying is you see your girlfriend enjoying something, and your mind is filled with, I need to abuse. I need to take this away and abuse this woman. No, it's just girls. In the way I would girls don't know how to play a child prostitute that I would. Girls Perhaps don't know how to play. If, oh, girls don't know I how to play just, video games in a if, in a if, efficient, a bitch, if logical I had a way. Tunnel right now, your ass would be in there on your shitty <laughs> in mattress, your raised car bed in your shitty mattress <laughs> yeah. that I shit on. All right, they have. I, I'm not that far into the Harry Potter, but they have presented it. I'm sure there'll be a twist in the storyline, but the the bad guys are the Jewish troll banks. In the in the Harry Potter game, the, what do you mean they're the bad guys? Isn't you know how, the, isn't like, the bad guy Voldemort? No, no, no. The, in this, it, I think it, this is a different um, era of Hogwarts, and there's problems with the the Jewish trolls. Yeah. So I think you might actually you might actually like this game. We kind of talked about it, but like you know how like uh, goblins, not trolls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what is it like? Because you see the like people on Twitter talking about like all the expulsions that happened throughout history. Uh, like, at, like the ethnic clen- like ethnic cleansing you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And I never actually looked into any of them. Uh huh. I was never like, why? Do you what? know why they happened? Why people were kicked well, out you of their homes? Yeah, just sold on the idea that people were like, oh, well, of course people were racist. It was 12. People were racist in 1950. So you want to hear them think, out. You want to well, hear out. No, I don't want to hear them out. So you want to hear out the this kickers. This is this weasel thing that you're doing where you're trying, you're reading, you're not even letting me explore. I'm just asking. Explore an idea. It was with, asking. With sort of a childlike sort Ex- of fascination. That they may have deserved and, it. Okay, then you know what? Never mind. I won't even, won't even talk. <laughs> okay, explore, please. I'm not even trying to make the point that they no, may have No, you said childlike fascination. Saying, that sounds beautiful. I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, is you know that the people were racist in the 1950s, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you think about it, and you're like, all right, that was 50 years ago. And you're like, okay, well, 100 years before that, they had fucking slaves, you know? And I'm like, that's way worse. So, but that's like 150 years, and it's like, okay, the year 1290, and I'm like, oh that had to God. be the most. Can you imagine if a black guy accidentally wandered into 1290 England? Yeah. I mean, were there black guys there at that point? I guess so. They had colonies in Africa at that they point. They would have to do a type of racism that I, I feel like he would just turn into a crystal. Yeah. Like they, whatever they, feeling they would have to him would. Would alter the structure of his material. There would being. be a cauldron and like some sort of satanic rite. I, like, I think it would be beyond that. I mean, the cauldron and stuff, that's like 1500s. But 1290? Like people thought dragons were real back then. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess it, I do think often, like my family got on the wrong boat from Lithuania, mm-hmm. literally. Like it was like 10 brothers and they all went to. Connecticut, I think, mm-hmm. and then my dipshit ancestor literally just got off the boat in Africa, mm-hmm. and it was like before there were pictures of anything, like what that that guy must have like been like thinking he was like what like where like it was like uh, seeing Avatar or something, seeing black people for the first time. No, it's not you even black people. They were it's animals like, it's like being in Africa and seeing animals and stuff. You wouldn't know what a lion you looks mean like. Black people. You're you wouldn't know what a lion looks like. You're if referring you, to them as animals. No, I'm referring to animals as animals, actually. You said it would be like being an animal. No, I know. I see you. I see you. I'm saying that there, you wouldn't know what a, what is a, 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 like an elephant looks like because mm. there were no pictures of them. You lived in a shtetl in fucking shithole Russia. Uh-huh. You must have, like, it must have been like seeing Avatar 1. Yeah. But they didn't no? have Avatar, was not That doesn't make any sense. I'm saying that it must have felt like you were for the first time transcending. You're saying seeing black people. If you, I never didn't seen say black before, people. It would be like seeing animals. No. In Africa, you said these Africans they're like an, they're like freak animals from the movie Avatar. Listen, we all. That's not the point I was making. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Which is about how racist it's. You made they took the inverse of what. What I'm, I'm saying. saying is is that is that like. Uh, Yes, I. Th- it was tangential to what you said. Wow. Right. 
It was not about the racism. But what I am saying is like in the year 1900, that guy must have been like, is this New York? How much cum is too much cum to have on your clothes before you have to... You more have just dandruff. You're well, covered in dandruff, dandruff constantly. Just, and the, yeah, but before you change... You know them. you can go to a, like a, get a shampoo for it. I, I have very bad dandruff too. I don't care. Why? Because I don't care. But it's not a good look. I don't care. I don't why? give a shit because I don't care. There's no why. You don't make a decision. You don't need fucking reason. That, why, is, it has nothing to do with society. society. No, because that's how far it would have to be for you. You're you're the society guy. What do you mean? You don't. Know, I'm someone just living my life, and you're like, fuck that, dude. You having dead skin c c covering your sh uh, shoulders? Uh huh. Yeah, some people just live their lives, and you can't you can't tolerate that. You say, what do you mean? These, I live look, my life. Look at all these black animals. In I Africa. didn't say that. You said literally I didn't say five that. minutes. Ago. I didn't say that. You're like, can you imagine how we got on the wrong boat? We could have gone to white America, but instead we ended up in animal. No, ass they Africa. probably would have thought it was New York, and then they see a fucking elephant, and they're like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is this? Yeah, you know that. No. I mean, it's funny the way you misread I it. I didn't misread it. You just, misread it. It's I just funny. feel like I can't, I, you know, I'm worried. It's, it's funny just, the I way just, you misread it's it. It's just being associated with you, even. What do you mean? That's my, this This is fine. The dandruff is, is your horrifically racist. Uh, you were claiming that you had cum on your shirt, and I said, it looks more like you have a tremendous amount, a deluge, perhaps, of dandruff mm -hmm. on your shirt. And then you took exception with that. Yeah. And then even as you took exception, you wiped the dandruff off. Which in reality, well, I was trying to wipe... you, were, you were confirming what I was saying. I was trying to wipe the cum stains There's, You can't wipe cum stains. It's I a know. stain. It might not have been a logical... No, you were doing the dandruff. I might be, well, it's all the way up here. How'd you bust over there? I think it's toothpaste, actually. Yeah, I was to. joking when I said cum. I know. Yeah. I know. It was a tat 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 Yeah. It was a little I bit did, of a, I, I've been doing it. It's a witty repartee. I've been doing aggressive, uh, just t oral hygiene because I've had a series of dental appointments, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to like uh, trick the dentist into thinking that I'm better at brushing my teeth. Literally, the morning you go to the den I go to the dentist. I'm like, I'm gonna floss for the first time in in two years right now. I had a long period where I wouldn't do that. I didn't want to get in trouble. I, well, I was I that was like that when I was younger, and then I hit my mid twenties, and it was like. Well, I'm paying them to clean my fucking teeth. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing them in there dirty as shit. Yeah, you're not even a real fucking doctor, bro. Yeah. You're a cleaning lady uh -huh. for mouths. Yeah. But now now I have problems, so I want them to just address the problems so I get the basic stuff out of the way first. And then I'm like, hey, is this bone? Is that my bone that I can see? And what did he say? And they say, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you need very painful surgery. They go great. Do you I'm think like, they they're, they're going to it's going to change your kind of appearance or the way you speak? No, I probably What if you come out of that with well, just like the, the, we'll the gayest lisp they, of all time? They said there's a recovery. I won't be able to talk for 3 days, which will be good. You'll you'll we'll just make sure we schedule it on right before the podcast. No, it would be fun if you if we did an episode where you're writhing in pain. That was funny, that one episode where you had literally no voice and you just sound like a, a Sopranos character. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just like one... Oh, by the way, today's episode is... Oh, uh, Adam. That's just like one guy, I think. It's like one actor who was in, like, Goodfellas. It sounds like that. And then people think, like, think of, you know? Lucy, guys. Lucy is upping the nicotine pouch game with breakers. Pouch is packing a little something extra inside. That sounds... A little sexy. That sounds a little. Doesn't that sound like? I'm not like other girls. Hmm. Nothing. Um. What are Lucy breakers? If you well, know, Lucy isn't like Lucy. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> and the explaining is what the fuck is? I know you see this and you're like, what the fuck is Lucy? Yeah. Is that for girls? Um. It's, it's a girl's name. No, it's not. It's gum. It's gums, gum. breakers, and pouches. If you know your pouches, you know that nicotine doesn't hit immediately, and neither does the flavor. The geniuses, this is in the copy, the geniuses at Lucy came up with a brilliant way to fix both of those problems. They put a mini liquid capsule inside each breaker's pouch. So what you do is you grab the breaker's pouch, you break the capsule, yes, with your teeth, and it makes a really satisfying pop. So you put it in your lip, 
and you enjoy immediate nicotine. Those are the breakers pods. These are just, this is just gum. That's the gum. Yeah. You also have gum. Gum is simple. You mm -hmm. chew it, although it has instructions on the back here. You, you chew it 10 times and then you, you put it in your cheek. Breakers, so breakers are four or eight milligrams of tobacco free, 100% pure nicotine. Six delicious flavors, unique ones like apple ice, espresso, and classics like mint or mango, the classics. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite uh, flavor, Nick? Um, pomegranate, this one. Yeah, it's, a fanta it's amazing, fantastic flavor. And, uh, guys, here's what you need to do you need to break up with your dusty gas station pouches and go to Lucy. Dot co slash TAFS and use promo code TAFS to get 20% off your first order. Lucy offers free shipping and has a 30 day refund policy if you change your mind. That's Lucy, L U C Y dot co and use the code TAFS to get 20% off and always free shipping. So, guys, here comes the fine print Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. And every order is age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicot nicotine is an addictive chemical. That's lucy.co slash TAFS. Check it out. Great flavors, great breakers, great gums, great pouches. Break up with your dusty gas station. All right. And now we're back. Mm -hmm. um, what were we saying? I don't know. We were talking about dentists or something? Right. You know, be a good, good line of work to be in. Huh? Uh, dermatologist. Yeah. Because you, know? you, you, there's no chance you kill someone, right? You're not gonna leave a watch inside of someone's. You like, could probably do it. You'd probably fuck that. I'd up. probably find a way to kill a guy. Yeah. And I feel like mostly what they're doing is they're just. Selling, it's always so funny. They're selling when, Botox. Whenever you, you tell me, you're like, yeah, I was gonna be a lawyer before. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's just so funny to imagine. That's really, yeah. You'd be like, it, it, you was like, you'd be defending, you'd be like a public defender, mm -hmm. and it'd be like a, a guy, a noble, a noble profession. By the way, thank yeah. you. I you'd appreciate that. You'd be like that. the bum yeah. public defender that somebody gets, and they've done something. It's like it's like misdemeanor shoplifting, mm -hmm. and then they'd get the death I get penalty. Them the chair. They'd get the death penalty, and then yeah, you would be. You'd also get the death penalty, <laughs> <laughs> somehow. You'd be so bad at fucking presenting their case. They'd be like, "I think we have to kill the lawyer, also." Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be the fr it'd be a new legal precedent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I don't think I would have been very good at being a lawyer. I'm pretty lazy and sloppy. Mm -hmm. But maybe I my, my brain would be different. I would be like uh, using it more. I learned at a young age. I was like, I'm gonna be an idiot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a loudmouth idiot. Because that seems to be a way you can live your life pretty easily. Mm -hmm. You can just be a loud idiot. Mm -hmm. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. And worst case scenario, you get treated like a loudmouth idiot. No one has any respect for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. 50% of the time, you get to be famous. Well, yeah. I think so. I think those are the numbers. It's yeah. close to that. Yeah. Yeah. You're like a guy... Uh, if you're loud and wrong enough, you get uh, a radio show. As long as the cameras are turned on. Yeah. You're a rush. If you're, fu if you're loud, if you like speaking, mm -hmm. and you don't really like thinking about things or looking into them, mm -hmm. or being correct. It doesn't matter. And if someone wants to argue with you, you just go, I'm not, I don't have time for this. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. I don't have time for this. Mm-hmm. If you just Cut get his it, mic. Yeah, just get yeah. a microphone and, uh, you know, who knows what happens. Just do it outside. Of, just start sending Fox News News Corp on 6th Avenue. Mm -hmm. Just go bring, just walk up. And be like, yeah, Knock on a, the door. I made a couple of VHS tapes, if you could get these to a producer, see if they like him. Uh -huh. And it's just you in your room. And you're like, yeah, fuck these fucking illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. And then you're like, well, I'm, uh, my name is Mark Bart. I'm available. Mark Bart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available for a TV show. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to have me on, please. Yeah, I'd like Jesse Waters slot. Yeah, Mark, um, the Mark Bart hour. And I don't, I don't want to, you know, rock the boat too much. But I think you might need a replacement for that guy because I think Jesse Waters might be a homosexual. Mm -hmm. 
I think he might be actually be. There's a something. I think he might be. There's something about his, the way he carries himself mm -hmm. that I think he might be a homosexual. That's also my pitch for my show on Fox News. It's called This Guy Might Be a Homo. Mm -hmm. And we pick one. The homo of the day. The homo of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. It's called Fuck These Fucking People. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a big wheel we spin, and it yeah. says gays and mm -hmm. it says gays and homos. <laughs> it says gays, homos, yeah. illegal immigrant alien bastards. And then, uh, you know, we, we don't really say the blacks anymore, so we'll say BLM activists. You just say, yeah, you have to just say BLM. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in their mansions. Yeah, right. Yeah. BLM mansionites. They all have mansions. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. That's what we call. It. That's and what I think remember. they might be homos. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the BLM homos, and you know. Oh man, we yeah. really need to pivot to conservative media. I it think seems so fun. We get accused of it all the time, but yeah, but we don't even have, they, we don't even get the benefit of having fun like they those guys probably are like. Uh -huh. They're all like sexually harassing each other and having fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like us, we're just miserable and getting accused of it. I'm actually not miserable anymore. I had some kind of like uh, office space office moment. Office space thing where I just yeah. don't fucking care about anything. Anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And not in like a nihilistic way. I'm, it's just, I just, uh, I stopped like worrying. Uh huh. What was it? You like, was it like a moment? I think it was just uh, like booking doctor's appointments. I'm like, I can just go to the doctor. Yeah. You've been on a brushing your teeth tip. It's I like, can, just can, if you do the errands, maybe it'll build you no, up. No, it's with not a little... the errands, really. It's like, if I just, if I'm worried about something, I can just go pay out of pocket and go to the doctor. Uh -huh. It's also, too, here's a hot tip. Here's an Adam Friedland show tip. And mm -hmm. you, you can cut this and clip it, Michael. And this is sort of a public service announcement. I mentioned it before. But now for New York residents, it is illegal for any medical office or collection agency to mm -hmm. refer medical debt to your credit report. So if you have any, if you live in New York st State and you have medical debt, you can now dispute it with the three credit reporting agencies. You just say, hey, this is illegal. It's wiped off. Is yeah. that all medical debt? All medical debt. Even elective plastic surgeries? All medical debt. So if I got a Brazilian butt lift and, and didn't I didn't pay, pay yeah. it wouldn't affect my credit? No. It would no longer, they can no longer submit it. It's, it's no longer put it on I'm about credit. to be a hoe, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm about to hoe out. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. They wow. can still sue you for the money. Uh-huh. You know, and then, and then I'd be like, fuck you. You'd have to go to court, but they can't put it, you know, they can't put it on your credit report. So if you have something like that hanging over your head, mm -hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Hopefully that comes to the whole country. I hope so, too. And then it'll put, yeah. You know, it's because Norman used to be like a medical bill collector. That sucks. And so, like, I would complain to him about that stuff, and he'll, like, defend it. I'd be like, yeah, well, you know, I mean, if you have the money, you should pay your medical bills. Uh -huh. No. No, you work for a company whose whole business, the whole job is to just, uh, like, harangue people that had a fucking accident. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And I think most people that don't have the money don't have money because they're buried in medical debt. Right. In yeah. this country. Yeah. So. And so that's the public service announcement mm -hmm. from the Adam Freeland show. Guys, we're all going to get fucking fake tits. Yeah. And I'm not paying Dr. 90210. You could take that to the bank. What are the, what's like the, what are kids doing? Now in like the Beanie Babies domain, is there like a thing they collect, or is it all digital? Hmm. Was it NFTs? Do it's you probably, know? No, I don't know. Because there was always a thing. I feel like there was always a Pogs. thing. Pogs. No, we're not going to baseball even that cards. Beyblades was probably the last Pokemon thing. Pokemon cards. Beyblades was probably the last thing I was aware of, and that was like what six years ago. That was hmm. the thing children were. What were those? I don't know. It was some sort of like automated top thing. I, I got like into the YouTube community of like adults that collect them. Really? Yeah. Back when I guess I, there's like Funkos. Don't they? Back do that? when I would still go online and try to find freak communities before I became a freak yourself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Freak. My freak on a leash. You became a fucking freak on a leash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that album good? No. 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 Why do you say stuff like that? Did you know we we we, we could get Jonathan. Uh, Davis, Davis on the show. Well, I'm just not a big jazz fan. Mm -hmm. 
You think uh, that was a, that qualifies as scatting? Huh? Yeah, isn't it literally? That's a scat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They did infuse jazz influences into the new metal genre. I, and I apologize to Korn, you know. I haven't listened in some time. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure Korn listens to the show, and I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah. I say, it's not worth being, a, being that kind of guy, you know. A lot of people think that's what we are, just meanies. We're not. Who thinks we're mean? Everyone thinks that we're just meanies, that we're like, ugh. We're bitches. Who thinks that? I think everyone. Oh, okay. We're t- we are two men with hearts of gold. Uh huh. You are the nicest person I've ever met in my entire life. Mm hmm. And me? Did you, with this thing where I just bought a homeless guy a sandwich because he's standing outside of Dunkin' Donuts doing the thing where they like hold the door. Oh, that thing, and yeah. And then you're like, well, now I have to fucking buy you a sandwich. Uh uh-uh. uh. Which I don't really mind doing. It's like, can't you just ask for a fucking sandwich? Well, how many sandwiches is that get netting him every day? I don't know. I think you're, it's probably one person. I don't, I, well, I just don't like the door holding for me because then it's like, then you're like, and then people see it and then what? Mm. Like, oh, like this guy thinks he's the mayor. Oh, I didn't know we were in a doorman right, building. Right, it's like, it's, you, well, it's just like this. Right. It's, I don't like the, uh, yeah, just being like treated like uh, like uh, just ask for a sandwich. Yeah, you know what I mean. There's one guy I really don't like, and it's mean of me. Mm-hmm. But he's a, a stutterer in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. and he makes you really wait till the end of the spiel. And the first time he gets you, and you're sitting there, and he's like, and 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 and, and then you're like, okay. But then the second, third time he stops you to give you the spiel. You're like I, I, like I just don't have time. I don't have patience for this. For your oh, thing. my problem isn't a lack of patience. You I just, just you just hate homeless people. No, I don't hate homeless people. I don't it's just like. A, it I takes too long. I don't like. The, I give him a dollar. I don't like the the optics of a homeless person holding a door for me. I try to give him the dollar at the beginning of the stuttering spiel, and then he's like, "No, let me finish." And it's just like, just take the fucking dollar. Yeah. Right. Like I, it's just like I've heard the. But you don't have anything important going on. Yes, I do. And part of the, the, the human connection, I guess, that's part of it, too. It's like, you know, you give the guy a dollar, let him speak, treat him like a person. When the homeless guy holds the door for you, he's already, like, creating some kind of uh, social rift. I'm your butler. Right, exactly. You, and you say, you say, thank you, Alfred. No, I try to grab the door before they can. Oh, so you try to wrestle the door away. Well, I'll them. fake them out. Because they, so like, they won't do it. They'll only do it if you... If they think you're going well, into it. What you have to do so is I'll you have walk, to... I'll walk, yeah. I will start walking past, and right as I get past the door, I'll, like, swing in and, and get in there. Mm-hmm. And then we fight over it. We fight over the door. That seems, like, worthwhile. Yeah. Because if I you get do, it before they do, guess who's not getting a sandwich? hmm So. The hungry man. Yeah, right. <laughs> the this starving man. fucking homeless guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I would do... Nice try, pal. My fake-out move is that I would then uh, work for him. Mm-hmm. I would treat him like my boss, mm-hmm. you know, wait, wait next to him when the next lady is coming into Dunkin' Donuts and say like, uh, pardon me, Skip, like, you, you mind if I get this one, mm-hmm. you know? What, I, what I'm going to start doing is dress up like a homeless person myself uh-huh. and uh, get a spot across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts and get maybe like a 35-foot uh, sort of hook. And when I see people coming down like the street, like a shepherd, because I can see the whole street where he can only see in front of the door. I see somebody coming down the street. I know they're going to Dunkin' Donuts before he does. I open the door before he can. Mm-hmm. So they come by, and uh, then I, there's like a little pulley on there, and there's like a you know, the hook, and mm. it says "tip, please." And then the person comes out, and then they put the tip in there. That homeless guy's standing next to the door, and I go, ee, 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 and then mm-hmm. I close the door. So I can just steal his entire business from across the street mm-hmm. with my giant hook. Mm-hmm. You make, like, probably $35,000 a year doing that. 
probably. I remember the local news used to do that. They'd yeah, be this like, homeless man makes $200,000. Yeah, this yeah. homeless man. Is the richest man in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, we want to, went to see how much money they actually make. That is one of the funniest categories of local news stories. Yeah, the yeah. homeless guy makes too much Sticking money. Into the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We brought our camera crew to the middle of this intersection to harass a homeless guy. Yeah, and the guy clearly is just saying he makes that much money. Mm-hmm. But he his underpants are made out of newspaper. The anti-panhandling laws have got to be like the funniest. They're like, it's this whole system where you have to make money to pay your rent. All this fucking bullshit nobody wants to do. And then if someone has the idea of just being like, hey, can you just give me money? They're like, oh, no, it's, no you can't do that. No. That's cheating. No. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. No. Yeah. Yeah, you can't just ask. You can't do that. Especially because if you're crazy, you have to live outside. That's the system in uh-huh. society, is that yeah. we make the crazy people go outside. Right. Like, take it out take it out on the streets. Yeah. And then they're, once they're outside, then we tell them that no one's, a, they're not allowed to ask for help from anyone. Yeah. It's quite mean. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, it's like, I'm sure people are watching saying, like, these are uh, uh, observations you make as a, a fourth grader. Maybe even maybe even younger that. than that, yeah, you yeah, understand yeah. that society is unjust and unfair, and so you're an idiot for even pointing it out. Well, but it's true. It's also it is true, and it's, <laughs> it's it happens. Still true. It's still true, <laughs> and there's not a justification for it. Yeah. Um, so we make people go if outside. If you don't want me saying, uh, oh, you know, what's really fucked up is homeless people are allowed to. They're not even allowed to beg. If you think, if you don't like me saying that, mm-hmm. well, then you need to buy yourself a gun and kill either the president <laughs> or, or, or the prime minister of Israel's son. I don't who know. lives in Florida. Yeah. Which I'm a, I, I understand know. if you're in Florida, you could probably kill him pretty easily. I don't know. What but, would that do for the homeless, though? Uh, well, you know, that's, it's like, that's how, I don't really understand how activism works, but... Uh-huh. Kyle Rittenhouse shot all those people. And now he's a star. Yeah. Now he's at he's at UTA now. And, uh, yeah, people he's like... He's booking. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's going out for Marvel now. He could probably do comedy clubs. Is he funny? Should I email him and see if he'll, like, open for me just to see if, like, that helps ticket sales? Uh, Rittenhouse? Yeah, just have Kyle Rittenhouse just bring his guns out on stage and be like, this one's... Uh, this one's an AK-47 with a red dot. You can just describe his guns mm-hmm. and answer questions about all of his weapons. Yeah. And then I can come out and be like, damn, who remembers that 70s show? <laughs> <laughs> they never said what country Fez was from. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't... Maybe that could help ticket sales. I'm, I mean, the best I could come up with right now is Scumbag Vinny to move tickets for me in Florida. I think that might be the move. I think Rittenhouse is probably <laughs> a series of yeah um, is is more a better gimmick booking. A surprise yeah. guest. Yeah, yeah. So speaking of, I'll be at the Columbus Funny Bone next uh, in February next month. Nick is going to be at the Columbus, uh, Ohio yeah, Funny go Bone. Ahead. I, I have I have to prepare a new hour of material for this tour, and I have not done it. So if, if the last hour of mm-hmm. podcasting is any indication of. Uh, me thinking on the spot. No, oh, you're it fine. Be, it should be. It'll uh, be great, guys. He's he's one of the finest comedians in the world. If, and if, if you haven't checked it out, you're the dragon is on YouTube, um, on our channel, which you're probably watching right now. So I always thought that. Yeah, did I, I think I mentioned this on the other one. I found out that so, the year you're born in the Chinese one. Oh yeah. No, if, you said it's in the office. You didn't say it on the show. Yeah, the year you're yeah. born in. So if you're like you're the dog or you're the monkey or something, it comes around every twelve years. I was under the impression, as a non-Chinese, that that's like, oh, that's got to be good luck. Mm-hmm. It is apparently it's not. If it's your birth year, it's going to be a bad year. It's a bad, very bad luck, and you have so to wear. So this year is. You your have to birth- wear red underwear. This year is dragon. Yes. Yeah, so and you were born in dragon. Yeah, uh, born dragon. So it's supposed to be a bad. So you're going to die this year. I don't know if I'm going to die, but it's a uh, bad year for health. I should be uh, my like uh, your investments will do poorly. Your mm-hmm. career. Will will be uh, sort of derailed, and you have to, like, uh, I don't know, a lot of bad stuff. Well, it's, but anyway, it was funny. I was looking at it because, you know, you 
people say, uh, oh, uh, libertarianism, that's like astrology for guys. Mm -hmm. But no, it's Chinese astrology is astrology for guys. Mm -hmm. it, it goes pretty hard. It's pretty goth. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, metal. It's like, you need to move your couch to the other side of the room now, or the fucking, the god of dragons is going to slit He's your He's going to cut your penis off. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's very specific, too. Really? Yeah, all the bad shit. Are they are they poly? Uh, they're like theistic, yeah. huh? The Chinese, they're polytheistic. They have different gods. Well, that's a th astrology, so it's not like a religion. Oh, okay. Yeah, like astrology isn't a religion. When they say gods, they mean like planets. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Like Jupiter, and I think regular like white, white girl astrology, Jupiter is bad. Mm hmm. Because they go to get more stupider. Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Is that what it is? Women are from Venus because they don't have a penis, and men are from Mars because... You got fucking cars. Because some of them are named Lars. Lars, yeah. yeah. Ulrich, drummer from Metallica. Uh-huh. Yeah. You got, get, boys go to Mars. Get some pussy. What is it? Is it get more... What is it? Huh? Cars. Get more cars? Mm -hmm. Candy bars? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna figure that out, and we're, we're gonna stick on that, that that story. Is there a word for it, like, you know, sharding, obviously? But what if you like, uh, like you you quisharded, qu qu like you tried to queef, but you accidentally shit yourself? Does that happen? I don't know if anyone tries to queef. I think it's the penis going in and making a a slight farting noise. The air in the no, pussy. No, there's queefing that happens like just throughout. Don't, girls don't say, like, oh, check this out. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Oh, yeah. Which girls are you know? Yeah, they do. Some of them, yeah, they, they can, like, use yoga moves to suck in air and then fucking push it out like a whoopee cushion. They sound awesome. Yeah. I know the wrong women, I guess. Yeah. I guess if I had a pussy, I'd be doing that all day long. That's probably what they're doing down there in those tunnels. That's what they're doing. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll be back next week. Guys, check it out. Uh, next week, I'll be in Tampa if you're there. Patreon.com slash TAFS. Um, we love you. See you later, Bye. folks. All right. What is guys going Oh, yeah, Shaquif on Urban Dictionary. Shaquif? Yeah.